it going guys? Welcome to a video and today I'm here with my little brother Mark. Say hi. Hey guys. And today we're going to teach you how to take the perfect free kick yep. every time. Let's get on to the video on how to take the perfect free kick. We first must go over basic equipment needed. First, you'll need a soccer ball. Then, you'll need soccer cleats. And lastly, you'll need a soccer goal. Now, let's get into it. Before we actually take the perfect free kick, we need somebody on our team to get fouled by the opposing team. Like so. Oh, is that a foul? After the referee has blown his whistle and has indicated for a foul, the referee will then tell you where to place the ball. After he tells you where to place the ball, you will then place the ball and prepare yourself in order to take the perfect free kick. After the referee has indicated for a foul and has told you where to place the ball in order for you to take the perfect free kick, you will then take a look at where the goalkeeper and the wall have positioned themselves. After you have seen where the goalkeeper and the wall have positioned themselves, you will then briefly close your eyes and visualize where you want to strike the ball in the goal. As we are imagining where we want to strike the ball, we must also consider a very important detail. That detail is deciding what technique we want to use when striking the ball. Many professionals use the techniques such as straight power, knuckle, and curling. Curling is the easiest to perfect and is the most common. Curling essentially adds spin on the ball like this. When using the technique of curling, you must strike the ball with this part of your foot. When you're curling the ball, you obviously use that part of your foot. Also, you must close your hips in the direction you want the ball to go. Many people close their hips too much or don't close their hips enough, and that leads the ball to miss the target. After you have reimagined on where you want to strike the ball, you will then position yourself right over the ball. You will then take another glimpse at where the goalkeeper and where the wall have positioned themselves. Next, you will take a couple steps back. After you have taken a couple steps back, you will take one last glimpse at where the goalkeeper and where the wall have positioned themselves. Then, you will look down at the ball Begin your run Thanks for watching and hope you guys learn how to take the perfect free kick.